What's up guys so today I just want to give an update on the car I've been going through all kinds of crazy stuff in my life um, but anyway I'm back on track with the car it's had some motor issues that I've had to get dialed in and you know I've just been wanting to cruise around so uh, I got the stock motor a little more dialed in and I was prepared to buy a full race motor and have it built for me I've decided to go a different direction from that and I guess today would be a good day for us to go take a drive and I guess I'll talk about what I'm gonna do with the engine Okay, so after I got the car, I noticed that there was an exhaust leak, which then I realized because the exhaust and the intake share a similar gasket, it was actually on the intake side as well as the exhaust, which of course I made worse because I was driving on it. So, um, first thing first, I just wanted to get that dealt with and try to get the engine running better, which then led me to the fuel injection system, which had a leaking hose and one of the banjo fittings wasn't right, so that needed to be addressed. And then I realized the car was not charging properly, so I needed to uh, basically get a new um, alternator. And so then, let's see, I got all that done. And there's still a weird fitting for the throttle that is causing it to idle oddly, so I'm dealing with that. So, a bunch of small things, but I just wanted to get all these like settled just so I could cruise the car around. And, you know, it makes it a lot easier to move the car around rather than having to push it around without the engine. So... Before I do any major engine upgrades, I uh, just definitely want to get it running right. Um, there's no reason why this motor can't keep running. I've checked all the cylinders and done leak down on it and it seems to be in good shape. So uh, I guess at this point I'm just you know keeping it as a running car while I can get some other stuff done on it. But I've been thinking about engine options and where to go with that. And you know I was going to have uh, an engine built for me which is going to be a B20 that I was going to have, you know, bored and stroked and basically, you know, have a different head put on it that was going to make it higher compression, but not so high that I'd have to run race fuel. But I decided to go against that because it was putting it in the hands of somebody that I was just going to have to wait about six months for, and then it was expensive. And if it breaks, you know, have to go through the whole long process again. So. Um, I'm thinking about doing an engine swap, possibly something Japanese so I can make it a lot more you know economical to work on and keep running so that's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now but at this point if I can keep this motor you know going well and I'm gonna drive it for a little while and see what I think about it and I've had a bunch of different ideas for engine swaps I've been doing a lot of research that's another reason why they kind of just haven't been updating the videos lately because I've just been doing research on the car and trying to figure out you know what I want to do I mean there's a lot of different engine options I'll show some options here of things I've been thinking about so um, as you can see, you know, there's a lot of different possibilities for this car. So, and when the time comes, I will either pull this motor out and rebuild it, or I'll swap in something else. So, uh, it's an update for now. Uh, please subscribe if you like the video, and definitely hit the like button, and we'll see you next time.